Okay, first we want to close that up, make sure it can't get out. Boom. We're going to take the top lid off. The problem with doing this is that as soon as this lid comes off, this black mamba can spring out. Hopefully it's quite cold today, but there's a heat pad in these boxes. So um, generally, the snake won't be too cold. Now you hold on to your twig and berries and hope for the best. This snake is truly scary. Oh, it's in the group. Come and have a look there. Have a look there at the top. Can you see? I'll take it in a bit closer. Hold that grab stick for me. There we go. There's the snake. How's that, guys? How's that snake here? And it's looking very dark, like it's about to shed its skin. Okay, it's not going to like this. I'm going to try and get it before it moves. No, move it. Oh, jeez. Come on. Okay, come out so I can get you nicely. Come out. Here we go. Mouth's open. Mouth's open. Look at that. How's that? That's a black mamba. You can come right here first, I think. Come on. Come on, baby. Come out of it. Come out. Come out. Where are you? Look at that. Head going up and head going down. There we go. There we go. Just trying to see if you're healthy. That's what I'm trying to see, buddy. This is a, not a good way to neck a snake either. It's upside down. But I'll get it. One mistake here, and that's me over. There we go. There's the mouth of a black mamba. Just trying to look if everything's good inside this mouth. Look at that. This here, guys, is one of the most feared snakes in the world, and for a good reason. Now, this is exactly what I wanted to check out for. Oh, man, it's pooing all over the place. Look over here. Do you see that there? That is a bit of respiratory infection. And that's why I wanted to check. The snake's not cold though. The snake's actually quite warm. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to treat that. That little chalky thing in the mouth there. Um, we're going to take this into the snake room. We're going to give it some antibiotics. And we're going to get that sorted out. Because the snake, and that's why it's important to check your snakes. Uh, if you don't deal with that, it's going to cause infection. And uh, the snake's going to end up passing away. How's this though? What a magnificent black marmot. Look how long it is. I mean, it's all coiled up still. Don't flick the pee on me, but look at that. That's a decent sized mamba. Okay, so as I was saying, out here, mamba alley, guys. Um, in our outdoor enclosures, as seasons change, so we're going into winter now, sometimes you just have to keep an extra eye on some of these snakes. Like people, they can get flu and stuff like that. And this guy, he's shedding his skin. So often, look at that. We're gonna soak him and we'll shed his skin properly later. But often, at the change of seasons, snakes can pick up some sicknesses like that. So I just wanna, I wanna show you what's going on. There we go, right there. So you see that chalky stuff, that's not great. That's a sign of an infection. It might, it's not in the teeth either. Look at that, coming out there. Just wanna make sure that's out. And I'm gonna give him an antibiotic as well. Just wanna check if there's any more there. It wasn't too much. No, he's looking good other than that. Could have been an injury when he lost eight or something like that. And it's just flared up with the change of the seasons, like people, uh, where we can get a little bit more. How's that mouth? Look at the mouth of the black mamba. Look at that. How's that? Isn't that beautiful? And its fangs are right over there. Let me show you. There's the fangs. Take a fangs poking out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the snake an antibiotic just to make sure it's, it, it, we're helping its immune system a little bit. And then we're gonna soak it and then help take the skin off. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I love these black mambas and we need to make sure that they're in best condition. If you can hold the tail, let's keep the tail away. All right, let me just put this in there. There we go. Now the snake is gonna react because this medicine, this antibiotic can burn a bit. He hasn't reacted at all. Look at that, what a boy. What a beautiful boy. You stay over there. Here we go. We're going to soak the snake and then help it change. Just open here for me. All right, lid. Okay, one, two. Black mamba in the bin. We're going to give it about half an hour, let it get all that old shit off, help it soak, put it back in, and we're going to keep an eye on it. Give it antibiotics for probably four or five days every second day. Really important. And then that mamba will be out and firing in no time. All right, time has come. It's been about 30 minutes later. The snake should have soaked unless it's sitting right at the, up at the top. I'm gonna let it come out normally. And then it should be quite cold, so not too fast, I'm hoping. 
Here we go, it's sitting nice and look at that Kirsten. Look there. Oh that's nice and soaky. Can you see it? Look here. I've never had a black mamba come out like this before. Look at that. Look at that. Oh there we go. Skin's coming off his head. Look at this guys. This here is uh, it's about to wake up. You're about to wake up, aren't you? Here we go, buddy. It's okay. Nice and calm. Look at that. Look at that face. Look at the head. That's one of the things that makes them such intimidating snakes. Can't see very well at the moment. Look at that. Isn't that incredible, guys? You're looking right now into the face of probably the most dangerous snake on the planet when it comes to handling. They're not killing thousands of people, though maybe they are in Africa, the whole of Africa. But they have the potential to undo any snake handler in the world. That's how fast they are, that's how unpredictable they are, and that's how quickly they will bite you. They've got a super toxic venom too, that'll shut you down. In my opinion, it's probably one of the quickest acting venoms. So a lot of snakes have more toxic, not a lot, but some snakes, probably five or six in the world, have more toxic venom than this snake. But that doesn't mean that it kills you quicker. A black mamba gives you so much venom in a bite and what it will often do is repeatedly bite you. So they freak out, will bite you three or four times. I have to be careful, he can almost get me from there. He can get me from there. It's just he's cooler today. So they can repeatedly bite you, injecting massive amounts. I'm talking 50, 60 times more than something like your Eastern Brown from Australia, which is the second most venomous snake in the world. So because you get so much venom, it kills you super quickly. When I got bitten in 2003, I think it was, from a black mamba, I was paralyzed, completely paralyzed in 10 to 12 minutes from the bite. Couldn't breathe, couldn't walk. Uh, my diaphragm had paralyzed from that neurotoxic venom. So it's quick acting. That means it kills you fast. It doesn't matter how many mice this thing kills. It doesn't matter where it is on the system or the LD50 system. What matters is how quick if this snake will put you in a grave. And in most people, it can kill you in between 20 minutes and an hour. That's super quick. Let me get my tongs quickly. I'm gonna just restrain it nice and gently, and then we're gonna take the skin off it. Then you'll probably see the proper personality come through when it can see properly. It's looking really funny at the moment. Come back a little bit, buddy. Come back a little bit. Come in closer, you can see what we do. I just wanna come in back so there's jaw bones in a good spot. There we go. That's great. Look at this. How's the snake here? That's okay. There we go. Oh no, you just want to bite me, hey? There we go. Look at that coming off. Isn't that amazing? Okay, don't bite. Look at that coming off. There's our cap. I'll show you right now. Just get my fingers safe. That there, that little round thing, that's the eye cap of a snake. Snakes don't have uh, lashes or anything like that. They can't blink. So they've got a protective scale that goes over the eye. That's it there. And then there's their nose scale as well. And if you can see it, there's the eye cap there. There's their nose scale. How's that? Isn't that incredible? The nose scale of a black mamba. Now, just need to get this other eye cap off without milking the snake on me. That would be a terrible way to go. I don't think I'd ever recover from, look at that, how cool is this guys? It doesn't hurt the snake. For those sissies out there who just think everything gets hurt these days and the world's gone soft, a snake like this will rub its face up against rocks and sticks in the wild to get rid of um, their skin. So my hand going like this doesn't hurt the snake. Don't be a wally your whole life. How's this? this? You're looking into the face of a black mamba, the most dangerous snake in the world. And this is a decent sized one. It's not massive. But it's pretty decent. There we go. It's off the head now. Now you can see that proper color. How pretty is that face? Look how pretty that face is. Isn't that beautiful? It's a magnificent face. And we're going to make sure you're nice and healthy, buddy. We're going to give you nice antibiotics. We're going to make sure that you're doing well in winter. Can't just have you doing well in summer and not in winter. And if he doesn't come right outside, we'll put him indoors as well. Make sure he's doing well. He's a very brown black mamba. This most of ours are like this gunmetal grey colour, but he's a very brown one, and I actually liked that. It was nice and different, so I kept him. Normally, brown snakes aren't the most exciting, but when you're dealing with a black mamba, it's always exciting. There we go. That's the skin coming off there. Look at that. Here, hold it. Hold his body there if you can. Check there. You can see his skin. Get it coming off. Getting more skin than a rabbi on circumcision, though, this guy. 
and we've got probably two and a half meters here of black mamba to shed get it all off him there we go boy that has been a bit dry for you outside and that's why all of our snakes here get soaked at least once a week um but you know sometimes i have to pinch myself guys it was a dream of mine when i was young to work with beautiful uh, animals like this and i know some people you might be sitting here like put your comments down below would you like to work with black mamba some people like finger don't be ridiculous we'll watch you do it never even want to touch one other people they'd be like flat out and uh, that's why join us on our volunteer programs here july we've got a volunteer program where you could come you would be helping me right now get the skin off this mamba that's what you'd be doing so i've got more in one hand helping me look at that what a girthy snake look how girthy it is over there it's a decent sized snake i think let's time lapse this Look what I've got you, look. Sometimes you have um, unnecessary helpers. He normally, this is Bear by the way, he normally is pretty good at staying away from snakes. I don't think he saw us holding one when I was lying down the grass. He thought it was just fun time, eh? Hey, did you think it was fun time? What's gonna happen when this guy bites you? And a lot of people, guys, in Africa here, a lot of people lose their dogs from mambas. A mamba, like sometimes people will find they've got five dogs on their property that's the first problem but they'll have five dogs on their property a mamba will kill all five dogs before the mamba gets killed by the dogs like they just they got so much venom and they're so quick that if a dog bites this thing this mamba is turning around it's 100 percent biting the dog so yes the mamba will end up dying but a pack of five six dogs no match for a mamba especially small ones and even a dog like bear he's a big german shepherd probably weighs almost 100 pounds even a dog like that, he'll be dead within 20 minutes, maybe, uh, probably less actually from a mamba bite, maybe even five, six minutes from a decent sized mamba like this bites a dog, it's out. So that's why we've taught most of our animals, except for Charlie the Dachshund, it's not the brightest dog in the world, not to come next to snakes when, they, when they're out here on the grass. And they see a snake, they don't run up to it, try to bite it. Uh, it's just something that they've learned growing up here, that that thing's gonna kill you. All right, now guys, cramp in the one hand, cramp in the other hand, finish doing the snake. I'm gonna walk it over to the enclosure. I don't wanna really let it go and have to catch it again. So let's walk it over to the enclosure, then we can release it. Um, I just had a look at its mouth, it's looking pretty good. You can see over there, that's where the stuff was. Just make sure there's not too much swelling or anything, but we'll keep looking after it. Isn't this the most incredible snake you've ever seen in your life? I think it's spectacular. I mean, have a look at it. This here is an adult black mamba, right here from Africa. And you can see what I mean. I don't know if it's a brown coming through there. Yeah. So this is more brown than most black mambas we get here, but it's got that distinct gray color underneath. Look at that. I love black mambas with all of my heart. I think I'd be so depressed if I couldn't keep black mambas. I think Kirsty would be less depressed about it. Yeah, I definitely would. But uh, what is dingo without a black mamba, Kirsty? That's what Not I'm dingo. Saying. No, I don't know. Or just a sad dingo. A sad dingo. Okay, here we go. Okay, get ready there. Okay, you're in my escape, huh? Here we go. Hello, Snakey. Hello. Snake, 100% okay there. Hello, buddy. Just want to make sure everything's good with him. Here he is. He's down on the branch. Hello. Here we go. Stay up, stay up. Don't come on the floor. Then you'll see me running, guys. There you'll see me running. Let me take you in here so you can see it. Probably turn towards us now. Hello, here we go. Look at that. And you can see that little bit of puffing on the throat. That there is also shows you a little bit of respiratory inflection, a little bit of a scratchy throat there for the snake. Um, so I'm going to keep my eye on this snake. Snake's very special to me. Make sure it keeps well. Guys, put your comments down below. Would you want to work with a, with a mamba like that? If you do, bookings at dingowild.com. Come and join me out here and uh, spend time with us here in Africa. We'll see you next time. Dingo out.